preparing for stream. And yes, John, we're live on Facebook now. Okay. Well, hello everybody, welcome to Friday. I'm gonna log into Facebook in just a moment. Um, it's good to see all of you. Yesterday's session, if you saw it, was was a lot of fun. It's it's always a lot of fun when um, everybody's painting along. So thank you if you were there yesterday. Erkin was there, I know. So thank you very much for that. Um, today we have a wonderful artist. Um, when we were in the Philippines um, in Manila, um, there was a group session. I think there was 275 artists and there were leaders there. And one of them was Tan, who's with us today. So Tan is from... Uh, Manila, Philippines, absolutely wonderful artist. Um, he will answer your questions as you um, as you ask them. So, Tan, welcome, welcome to today. It's great having you here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for you having so, me. Here. You are so yeah. very welcome. It's good to see you again. Um, I saw his artwork in Manila. His artwork is absolutely gorgeous and. I think Ethel right now is going to show show us some uh, examples of that. Yes, we'll share a screen now. There we go. We'd love our friends to connect with whenever we have guest artists in our midst, and easiest to do that is by connecting with Tonton through Instagram. This is his handle. Did you remember his name? Tonton.tour. And of course, he is also on Facebook. The next couple of slides, we'll see some of uh, Tonton's beautiful artworks. And we already told Tonton if he could share something about each of these artworks. We start with this piece, Ton. Uh, this one is my uh, eye challenging piece. Uh, I, I enjoy doing this. The, Rusty knife. Uh, this one is also my favorite one. Uh, uh, I like painting the cat cats and also uh, it's a bit challenging uh, painting the draper. And this one is uh, one of my entry here in the Philippines. I was, uh, Invitational exhibition. It's beautiful. Uh, this one is also my favorite. Uh, this is a self-portrait. Uh, the story is about COVID nineteen, and this one is my my winning piece here in the Philippines uh, uh, competition. Uh, also, this one, this was taken at the. National Museum of the Philippines. Uh, this one is a old man. This was, uh, I, I did this uh, during the COVID-19 and this was, uh, I studied. These are wonderful, Tonton. Thank you. And also this one, yeah, uh, the old man. I, uh, this also a winning piece from the uh, national competition here in the Philippines. This was, uh, it, it, this is a fisherman. And also this one, this also was made during the COVID-19 together with the old man. And it's a bit challenging. Uh, this came from. This one's also my favorite. The uh, cat, I was, this was taken at the rooftop with the sister of my partner. Wow, uh, that's beautiful artwork. Thank you. Very beautiful. Very welcome. Very welcome. Okay, so um, Tom is going to be giving his demonstration. If you have questions, um, go ahead and ask. Um, with that, if you'd like to start, that'd be fantastic. I want to give you as much time as possible. I'll, I'll keep on the other summer. So okay. I'll... Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
starting on the latest one. And also be mindful when you are applying color, it will lighten. So you should put some colors more saturated. I think it will it will be lightened uh, at least thirty percent. Tauntaun, do you typically start with the face then uh, instead of a, a background? It depends on my, uh, sometimes I also start with the background. Sometimes I start also some uh, on the hair part or sometimes I will start on the detail, uh, the features, the eyes, now sometimes. But there's no specific way to uh, where you can start. Uh, Very nice. Just... Thank you. So uh, you need to uh, know the form of the face so when it turns it, it gets it gets more darker uh, think like uh, the shape of the egg because it's the ba basic shape of the face Do you always use alizarin and crimson and sap green, um, no matter what the complexion looks like? It depends. For this one, because uh, uh, an Asian, so I use uh, more on greenish and the reddish color. That but makes sense. Thank you. Okay. On the shadow, I'll be mixing a burnt amber and ultramarine. I'm just an initial shadow. Oops. To soften the edges, just uh, Push it with uh, clean water. And also be mindful on the reflected light. It's more lighter than the uh, the core shadow. Mm, this part is, is uh, receiving some reflection from the shirt of the girl. Uh, it is a color pink, so it will be color pink here, a uh, slide of pink. Do you still hear me? Uh, 
Hmm. I cannot hear you, sir. You have some questions. Just uh, leave your question. I'll try to uh, answer. Hey, Ton. Uh, Reg here from the Philippines. I just want to ask, uh, in doing your portraits, how many colors do you usually use? Uh, for, for the skin tone, uh, usually the basic uh, colors that you will use is uh, from the orange. Uh, you'll just adjust, you'll just adjust the uh, value and chroma, something like that. Any, any, any kind of uh, skin tone, you can adjust it from the color of orange. Great, right, thank you. Welcome. Tonto, one of the, uh, you have uh, 48 people watching over on Facebook, and Kristen Clark said, I think we're too busy watching your technique to come up with questions. So people are very much enjoying this. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this one, this this is uh, just an initial blocking, uh, so I can see the value. So later on, I will put the next layer. So into here, let's put some uh, the lightest. Also, the lightest one. I will mix and. Uh, neutral tint and a little bit of uh, burnt shine. Uh, and also, when in mixing, there's a variation of uh, variation of uh, mixing. Uh, I recommend you to see this from the book of Joseph Shvuli. I don't know the, how to pronounce. The uh, it's you have it's you have a, a, a T 
mixture, coffee, milk, and cream, and butter one. Uh, it means in, on the tea mi mixture, it's more watery. Uh, coffee, uh, a little bit of water. Milky, it's, it's uh, a bit um, thick color. And cream also more thicker color. And the butter one is the uh, straight from the tube. You can use it for dry brush or the, for detailing. There's a question in the chat. Um, when you're doing your skin tone and you are layering or you're doing your shadow, are you layering the shadow tone on top of the base tone? Uh, yes, because uh, on, on my reference, it's uh, uh, but sometimes I, I uh, 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 doesn't mix, don't mix it because it's it makes uh, um, muddy color. Uh, so it just depends. Yes, it depends. Thank you. Here, here, I test one. The reflection of the light. Then we will mix with a thick color, a thick mi mixture of um, burnt china. This one, uh, this one to make it softer. You just a uh, clean water. Uh, so for the next layer, I will use an um, air dry to. Don, can you talk about how you've stretched your paper and what size you normally do if you do them for someone? Uh, for this one, this is this size is uh, eleven by fifteen. Uh, I I stretch the paper. I soak soak it uh, about two to three minutes, and then I use a uh, gun tucker to uh, to place it. Uh, and and then put some tape uh, to have a margin. What kind so, of paper do you like to use? I like using the Arches Cold Press, three hundred J. Do you so you used gummed paper tape and staples? Uh, only a staples. This one is only just staples. a. Okay, thank you. So the next layer to, to adjust the half tones, the darkest half tone. It's 
also an advantage to know the anatomy because you will know the form of the face. And so I'm ignoring first the details. Later on, I will put this when, when I'm content the layers. Uh, it's just the same mixture, the uh, soft green and the, and the alizarin greens, just uh, adjusting the half tone. I'm not on the cheek part, it's uh, a little bit um, reddish because uh, the human has a more blood vessels on our cheeks. Also on the, on the here. And also when you're mixing on the shadow part, uh, it's more thick. So the color will be not be not not will be too light. Also, put the shadow on the nose. A little bit more mixture. I just mix the um, burnt amber uh, and the ultramarine blue and a little bit of alizarin cream.
mixed raw umber with wet ton? Uh, burnt umber uh, with turmeric blue and the alizarin cream stuff. And also, I will put some half tones on the ice so it will not look flat. I'll be mixing just a ultramarine blue and a little bit of burnt amber. So the eyeball is just a round shape. So just know where the, the light came from. Uh, put in the half tone inside. And later, I will put the details. Color of the lips. Uh, I just use a vermilion, organic vermilion. Uh, I will leave the highlight. We'll make the hair first. So I'll make it uh, wet at first so the layers will be soft. When you're painting hair strands, uh, just simplify it. Uh, don't paint the each uh, of the hair. To make darker colors, I just add a ivory black or anything darker. I use sometimes uh neutrality and this mixture is more thicker so the color is more darker. Also the other side. 
I'll just red paper so will be soft and same mixture burnt china and uh, a little bit of ivory black And you can manipulate your brush. Uh, just press your brush so they uh, just they look like this. So you can paint just, uh, you can just one stroke, you can make a full here. Dry brush. I will get back into the face. I will just adjust the value of the half tone. So the same mixture. Uh, sap green and laser and green sand. Uh, sometimes uh, I add uh, ultramarine to make it darker. And then when you're looking at your reference, uh, try to squint your eyes so the value will merge. So you will not be um, confused. Just ignore the details first. Too much. So the last one, you know, as a more blood vessel, so I add some pink colors, the alizarine. So, on the ice, I will use the synthetic brush. Uh, I will use, I will mix a burnt amber on the eyeball, a thick color, and a little bit of uh, yellow ochre or some raw amber, okay. I 
community. When you have a moment, can you show your palette? Um, someone's asking to see um, the consistency of your paint. Oh, okay, I'll put it here. Oh, I hope you can see the palette. This one is a more thicker. Uh, to make it darker, I will just add some ultramarine blue on the iris. Also, I use this for the eyelid. And some vermilion and the third duck uh, because it's more red color. I just I just the value of the uh, half done on the eyes. And also the uh, what do you call this? The this one, the line. Uh, it also makes a uh, shadow on the eyeball, so so, so not, it will not look flat. And also the other side we just repeat the process. A burnt amber and a, a little bit of yellow ochre. And I would just keep the highlight a reflection receiving from the light. Uh, mixture, so I'll just put one layer. I'm using the uh, this one, the nylon brush, so it gives more. Uh, And then I'll give you first uh, go to the other points. So face. Uh, I will go to the lips, the shadow of the lips. I will just mix some uh, either in green tone and the darker colors. So I will make the shadow. Here and also the upper lip has a reflection. So I will put some really uh vermilion. Usually the upper lips is more darker than the 
lower lip. So we should adjust the value. And the lower lip is a more saturated color. So I will adjust the shadow on the nose, uh, go shadow. So the look and round. And the, uh, this one on the nose, I will just use a burn on the oh, I'm sorry, burn China. This one, and when you also paint in the uh, the eyebrow, uh, you know, make um, the strand uh, just simplify it. We were just having a conversation in the chat um, about the color you used for the lips. So the organic vermilion, and there was a question on other colors that could be used um, if somebody doesn't have that color. So we've posted in the chat, the link to the interactive color map, also known as C-Lab, um, where people can go and compare colors and see what they can use if they don't have a color that um, Ton is using today. Very nice. You're on it, Ashley. Go. Go, Thanks, girl. Gabe, you know it. Um, we're writing the paper, so it will. I will make the shadow softer. So I'm here. I'm just I just I think the half in here so it will make no more loop uh, around.
Tom, can you move your palette so we can see the reference photo again? Oh, sure. Please. Thank you very much. Okay. You don't, you, don't, you don't need to copy all the details. Just, just enjoy when you're painting. I'm placing now a, a sub green. I use sub green because they complement the color of red, sea, green, so it will make a neutral color. It's really incredible to watch you paint. It's looking so good. Thank you. It's really incredible to watch you paint. It's magical. Actually, I'm a bit nervous. I didn't follow my study earlier. Uh, well, you're okay. doing great. Thank you. I will for the uh, forehead. I glaze some yellow ochre. I want to adjust it. Uh, also, its value. Uh, this for me, it's, it looks so flat. Let's use a hair Sorry for the noise. So on the shadow inside of the well, I'm using a alizarin crimson because it receives some, some color from the lips, so it gets more uh, a little bit red. So. 
Uh, need to be aware of what's uh, near uh, and, and its surrounding. So the color is a color relationship. Earrings. I'm using the version for the shadow. You need to observe what color, uh, what's in it because sometimes it, it tricks you. Uh, should know what's the uh, simu simultaneous color because it will trick the color. What's uh, what's next to, to its color? Just simplify. Your portrait reminds me of John Singer Sargent. Thank you. He's an idol. Best uh, painter. Do you think you'll put a background in on this portrait? Uh, I think I'll leave it uh, white. Okay, thank you. Now we're at the bottom of the hour. You did so much in less than an hour. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Could you okay. put the, the photo to the to the right so we can see the photo that you've been using as well? Yeah. Uh, wow. wow. Amazing. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. Would I you mean, actually would you post your finished work so we can see it? Of course. Uh maybe I will finish it first. So I would sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you when you're all done. We'd love to see it, um, the final piece. It's beautiful. Yeah. Your work was great. 
I think I there, was, there was a lot of questions in writing because people wanted to give you your time to um, do your work. And I think everybody was following along. Um, it was Thank amazing. You. Mesmerizing. It's that beautiful. So I beautiful. Know. Very beautiful. So beautiful. Yes. Thank you, John. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody for Thank, you Tom. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.